everybody welcome to another episode of unboxing and stuff and today we're doing something a little different a little special we're actually on our way to the airport we're gonna go take a flight and we'll let you know where we're going and why we're going when we get there we are here in Salt Lake City Utah at the Mountain America Expo for the Utah Sportsman and RV show we were invited out by the guys over at Solid RF uh, to come check out their booth and the show and then also to see some of the new products that they have and potentially do some assisting and explaining some of their products to uh, some of the people coming by and checking out their booth. All right, so here we are at the Solid RF booth inside the RV show where they're showcasing several of their newer products, one particular on the end that is brand new for the uh, smaller vehicles. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in and we're gonna go over each kit roughly and just give you an overview quickly of what that kit is made for. Okay, so the first kit we're looking at here is a Solid RF RV Travel, which is a medium-sized kit for a medium-sized camper. It uh, has a lot of cool features that are going to be very similar to the next kit we're actually going to look at, which is the Solid RF RV Pro cell phone booster. And this is for the big trailer, something that's nice and long, got plenty of cables and a couple antennas for the inside of the unit. So this is going to be for anybody who really wants great coverage throughout a larger space. And then finally we have the Solid RF Terrain Cell Phone Booster. This is a brand new mobile booster made for the smaller RVs or campers or pickup trucks, vehicles. It comes in a convenient travel case so you can take it wherever you're going and add it to a vehicle whether it's a rental or something you own. If you want to do a permanent or temporary install this is kind of the perfect kit. It also boosts GPS and has six different antennas so it covers all of the five bands that they're allowed to boost and will get you great coverage for any carrier okay everybody here we are back in our hotel room where we actually brought the new solid rf terrain cell phone booster back so we could do an unboxing video and just kind of show you everything that's in the box kind of quick how to put it together and talk a little bit about some of the features so let's go ahead and open the box First thing you see is a plastic bag with the actual carry case in it. Then we have one of our two cables, which we'll go over in a little bit. So we have some metal discs and some adhesive pads. We have a mounting template for the adhesive pads and the metal disc. And we have our Solid RF Terrain Cell Phone Booster Manual. So now let's get inside of our case here. And over here, we have the unit itself, which is Sealed up, has three magnets on the base, place to connect your antenna cable, and then six locations for the external antennas. Then we have this guy here, which you actually would stick into a vent and then use the sticky side on the back where you can connect your power adapter on the inside of the unit, which is magnetic. And then you have your input and your output antenna ports and then a power port. We have our, our indoor antenna. We have our other RF cable. And one of these, this one in particular, is 10 feet, and this one is 16 feet. So depending on your application, you can use either one to get to where you need to go. Although, I always recommend when you're doing stuff cell phone related, use the shortest cable possible to achieve whatever it is you're going for. So in this container, we actually have all our separate antennas. So you can see here. And we have one spare antenna for each size. We have four longer antennas and two sh shorter antennas that go on the unit. And we have one extra. We also have a small wrench which can assist in tightening these. You don't need to wrench them tight, extremely tight. You just want to snug them down so that way they are not going to rattle loose. 
And it appears I forgot the last thing that belongs in this kit, which is the actual uh, 12 volt power supply that plugs into a cigarette lighter. And uh, I'll take a picture of that and insert it here so you guys can see uh, exactly what that looks like. It has two additional USB 3.0 charging ports, which is great. Uh, some of the older units only had the single plug and it took up your whole cigarette lighter and you were unable to use any of your other devices. Um, but this one actually has the two extras so you can charge your phones or whatever without having to uh, come up with any additional solutions. So essential quick setup explanation is we're going to take this unit, we're going to insert our six antennas, snug them down, then we're going to take our feed line cable, whichever the shortest appropriate length is, we're going to go ahead and connect it here and we're going to go ahead and snug that down very lightly. You don't want to break these connectors. Then since this has a magnetic base, we will actually set it on top of the roof with this connector and the cable facing out the rear while this wing is facing towards the front of the vehicle. We're then going to feed our wire into the inside of our vehicle where we will connect it to this power adapter on the input side. Then we can go ahead and also connect our internal antenna on the output side and you can connect this directly to and then you can snap this guy onto any of your vents if that's how you'd like to mount it. You could also get some sort of a velcro and do it that way as well. And then you have this guy on here, like so, and your booster would be up and running at that point. I will say, make sure you connect the internal antenna before power, just so that way it's not pushing power out into nothing. Uh, you don't want to potentially damage the unit by doing that. And so that's how simple it is to actually set up. Um, but let's talk about some features of this newer unit. Uh, it has come a little way since the original unit that I did a review video on. So this is the, the first all-weather, all-in-one unit that they've produced. It is an all-in-one outdoor mobile amplifier. So uh, the original unit I had had an external antenna that then fed down to an amplifier and then went to an internal antenna which went out into the cab of the truck. But this one, the antenna and the amplifier are all built into one piece, so it reduces the loss significantly, which will actually give you more signal. Uh, this is also the first outdoor antenna with multi-antennas, which is also pretty cool. So you have a dedicated antenna for each band. And it also has an integrated GPS amplifier, which is a pretty neat addition, uh, especially if you're going through some sort of dense wooded areas where GPS signal is sparse. This can pick up that small signal and amplify it as well. And one of my favorite things about this particular unit, even unlike the ones I've done in the past, is it comes in this case and you would actually are able to take this unit anywhere you want with you, assuming it's legal to use, which, you know, if you're in the United States, you're, you're probably pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, this is designed, you could throw it into your bag all in one, packed up, and you know when you get to your destination take it out set it up on a rental car and then you'd be good to go you'd have potentially better service if you're in a poor service area but it'd be nice to be able to take it with you um, because you don't know what it's going to be like when you get there necessarily so that was a pretty cool feature that they put in this unit <clears throat> and according to the documentation uh, this is supposed to be up to a 200% increase in the communications range that you're able to get uh, up to five to eight miles extra with this particular booster over other boosters um, and you're looking at a 16 db gain of signal which is approximately 40 times the signal that you're getting initially this uh, is a true five band technology uh, it does bands 12, 13, 5, 2, and 4, and supports all the major cell phone carriers and the subsets that use their towers as well.
And this thing is also IP67 waterproof rated and it can handle temperature ranges between neg 30 and 150. So let's talk real quick about these discs here. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the bag just to explain. So you have uh, several metal discs and you also have several 3M adhesive pads. So if you're wanting to mount this unit on a non-metallic surface, such as fiberglass or wood or something along those lines, then you'd actually be able to take a metal disc, you'd be able to go ahead and adhere it using the template provided, and then you could put this unit on that surface and it's going to hold nice and tight. Uh, that's pretty cool, it's a unique feature, but I like it that they included something additional to just slap it on top of the roof, for especially for those of us who are going to probably see what the heck we can do with it, find all the different cool things we can get it to work with. So, anyways, I just thought I'd point that out. But I think that's about all I'm going to cover here at this time. Uh, at some point in the near future, I believe I'm going to be doing a video on this for Solid RF, uh, a review video, where I'll show you guys real world numbers what I'm actually getting and uh, then at that point if you guys haven't already picked one of these up you can decide for yourself that it's something that you want. Okay so here's a quick shot of the front of the booth when it was all set up. Quick shout out to Isaiah thanks for helping with the poster uh, as some of the shipping material unfortunately got held up and was unable to arrive in time for the event. Uh, this was a great time for me to sit down with the guys at the Solid RF and uh, get asked a lot of questions about their products and really learn a little bit more detail and in-depth information than uh, you typically can get just from face value. So it was really nice to be able to ask those questions. Uh, they have a very knowledgeable staff and uh, I was glad to get to know them a little bit as well. It was pretty cool. So here I am at the state capitol, and this was kind of a cool experience. We stopped by there and got to check this out. Uh, not something I've ever really done, but I figured since we were there and uh, one of the guys offered to take us there, we might as well check it out. And if you look here, we got the inside of one of the buildings, a lot of the artwork. It's pretty cool. Apparently, the first Kentucky Fried Chicken is also in Utah, uh, so it was pretty cool to see that stuff. And we thought I'd throw, show you a quick picture of our rental car, which was tiny compared to me, which makes it a little interesting. And this is the Expo Center, which is just a massive building. It's about five times the size of the Sacramento Expo. But anyways, I'd like to thank Solid RF for taking us out there. We had a good time, and we look forward to uh, working with them in the future. We're actually going to be doing some review videos for them. And uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you want to see some more of this content. Thanks for watching.